Hey there, Terrain Makers! Before we continue, consider to watch part 1 of this series. If you want to know how this hill was made, check out my Patreon account. There is a detailed and beautifully designed PDF tutorial about the process, ready to download and print. The Terrain article explains techniques like processing styrofoam, working with filler, using cork bark and sculpting mounts for trees from air dry modeling clay. Let's paint these shiny plastic palm trees and get this terrain model on the table. The trunks get a coat of raw umber. The leaves a layer of natural dark green. And they get roughly dry brushed with a brighter natural green followed by a more yellow-green at the tips of the leaves. Fine turf produces a nice transition effect to the terrain base. Wash the lizard nest with a dark ochre. It looks like a layer of dust afterwards. Selectively applied washes are nice to give your terrain model some natural and realistic color variations. Ochre and brown for dry spots, green for potentially more moist areas. Clump foliage is robust, looks good and is not that expensive. Ideal for wargaming terrain. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep this terrain train rolling, check out the links in the description below. Follow on Instagram, like on Facebook or become a patron. Link, like and share. To remind, we released a layouted PDF tutorial about making this jungle terrain for all patrons, so consider to be part of this digital terrain archive. I also have a list on my website where I recommend tools and materials for terrain modeling. This is an easy way to support the channel. If you have any questions, drop a comment. Thank you and keep on making terrain.